Hello everyone, for this video, we will discuss the scope and limitation of research. The content of this discussion are the following. First, the purpose of scope and limitation. The content and topics that we can discuss in terms of the scope and limitation. And sample writing phrases and tips in writing the scope and limitation. First, having the scope and limitation, we are able to set borders and limitation of the problem that we are inquiring. It helps us to narrow down the scope, especially in terms of geographic location, age, sex, population traits, population size, and other concerns. This makes our research more manageable and feasible. When discussing the scope and limitation, the following could be included. Parameters or boundaries of your study. You can focus on where and when to conduct this study, the variables that are included, and so as those that are not included, the respondents involved and not involved in your study. We should also share the weaknesses and how to handle the weaknesses that we anticipate in our study. We may also focus the coverage of your objectives and those that are not covered by your objectives. Also, the methods and its limits in our study should be discussed in the scope and limitation. We should take note that when we say limitation, this pertains to those aspects of the investigation from which the researcher has no control. Although this might adversely affect the findings or the result, it is considered as the weakness of the research. However, we should very honestly discuss this in this section. Let us note the difference between the terminologies. If we see scope and death limitation, it pertains to the boundaries that are controlled by the researcher. This makes the study narrow, manageable, and relevant to the investigation. While, when we say limitation, this pertains to the validity and reliability concerns in our research. This pertains to those that are out of the researcher's control, especially in terms of the research methodology. What can we include in discussing the scope? First, we should remember that the scope pertains to those that are included in the study that are set by the researcher. We can discuss the why, what, where, when, who, and how of our study. We may use the following phrases to start the discussion for the scope. When we say the limitation, it is still controlled by the researcher but this pertains to those that the researcher chose to exclude. For the limitation, readers need to know why those variables were set as excluded, what alternative options were available, why those were rejected, or why those variables are excluded. And the researcher may also provide the reasons that could be linked back to the research question for excluding those variables. A scope and delimitation are usually considered together when writing a paper. When discussing the delimitation, the following phrases could be useful. Some of the topics when discussing the limitation are as follows. Could be research objectives, questions, variables, population, and statistical analysis techniques. Focusing on the research limitation, we should remember that this is the weakness of our research, which the researcher cannot control. Some sources of limitation are as follows, the issues pertaining to the sample and selection, sample size, population traits, or specific participants, lack of previous studies on the topic, limitations in the technology instrument to be used when collecting the data, the limited financial resources, and funding constraints. Remember that research limitation is also a source for a research gap. 
When discussing the scope and limitation, we can refer to the summed up methods as follows. We can simply provide them the general inquiry and the design, the locale, the population and sample, the sampling technique, the boundaries, the instrument, the data analysis procedure, and the statistical treatment or analysis plan. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.